Hello everyone. So let us today discuss another case. This particular case, as I have mentioned here, 60 year old male had an RTA, sustained blunt abdominal trauma, immediately underwent splenectomy. On day one, he was extubated. By this time, the cumulative food balance was 5 liter upon 1.5 liter. At this present moment, patient is on maintenance fluid 150 ml per hour. But what happened on day 2, he became dyspneic. Started on 2 liter of oxygen via nasal cannula. He became tachypneic. This is the ABG. In the ABG, you can see patient is acidotic. pH is 7.27. PCO2 is 41. Picarb is 18. Sodium is 142. Chloride is 120. And lactate is 1.8. So now let us analyze this situation and find out what happened actually. So this is a case of definitely metabolic acidosis. So any case of metabolic acidosis, the next step is to find out what is the anion gap. The formula for anion gap is sodium minus bicarbonate plus chloride. In this particular case, if you see from the ABG, the sodium is 142 minus the bicarbonate is 18 plus the chloride is 120. So, this is 142 minus 138, this is 6. The normal range for NAN gave 8 to 12. That is, in a person who has a normal albumin, excluding potassium. So, this is a clear-cut case of normal anion gap metabolic acidosis. This we know. So, what is the reason in this case? It is secondary to excess saline, normal saline, uh, resuscitation. Everybody knows, if you give extra saline, there will be normal anion gap acidosis. But why? So, this is our body. This is, we are giving normal saline from outside. In the body, we have sodium. How much? 140 average. Chloride is 100 average. When we give saline from outside, the sodium here is 154 milli equivalent and the chloride is 154 milli equivalent. So, we can see here, the gradient between the plasma sodium and the sodium in the normal saline is less than the gradient between the plasma chloride and the chloride in the normal saline. Giving normal saline will increase chloride more than sodium. And this is because of the gradient. But then, so what? If chloride is increased more, how it is converted to acidosis? Let us discuss. So, this is chloride gain. So, outside we are giving saline that is causing the chloride gain. So, obviously, this is extra renal cause. Now, what happens in the kidney, especially in the proximal convoluted tubule? In the proximal convoluted tubule, there is a transport system which is common to both chloride and bicarbonate. What happened when there is chloride excess, it competitively enables the bicarbonate and selectively the chloride gets absorbed into the system. When chloride increases, competitively inhibits bicarbonate reabsorption. So, what happens then? Chloride preferentially get reabsorbed into the plasma, whereas the bicarbonate gets wasted by the urine. So, what if the bicarbonate gets wasted, chloride get reabsorbed, why there is acidosis? This question may come. So, now coming to the equation, so from here, H2O plus CO2 is equal to H2CO3, H plus plus HCO3 minus. 
So you can see here the bicarbonate gets wasted in the urine. So the bicarbonate is decreasing. So whenever the bicarb is decreasing, the whole equation is shifted in this direction, producing more H plus ion. And the more H plus ion translates to acidosis. So this is how a hyperchloremia chloride gain external cause from outside giving normal saline causes metabolic acidosis. This is called hyperchloremic metabolic acidosis. In this context, let us see another scenario. The concept of electrical neutrality. As you can see here, the normal NN gap acidosis can be produced by chloride gain. At the same time, it can also be produced by bicarbonate loss. So, let us discuss a situation where there is bicarbonate loss. So, this is the cation anion. So, number of cations must be equal to number of anion. This is the electrical neutrality concept. This is the normal anion gap. The unmeasured cation in the body constitute the normal anion gap, right? Now, in this situation, let us say there is a bicarb loss. When it can happen? There is a diarrhea. This is again external. So, we are discussing today only external cause. In the diarrhea, there is bicarb loss. Now, what will happen to this? So, here everything is same. Others, cations and sodium. In the anion part, anion gap remains normal because there is no additional acids from outside. But the bicarbonate is lost from outside, from diarrhea, right? So, the bicarbonate level decreases. The bicarbonate level here, it decreases. Let's say it is 24 here, chloride is 100, and then gap is around 8 to 12. And the bicarb level decreases because of diarrhea, let's say it become 16, and the chloride level remains the same. Now, what happens? To maintain the electrical neutrality, this chloride will rise and the patient becomes hyperchloremic. Here, we have not provided normal saline from the outside. But this is because patient has diarrhea. To maintain the electrical neutrality, the chloride increases. But how? Concept is same. Again, in the proximal convoluted tubule, we have the transporter for chloride and bicarbonate. So, in the face of a bicarb loss in the form of diarrhea, to maintain electroneutrality, the chloride is selectively reabsorbed from the proximal convoluted tubule to increase the chloride level in the plasma. Again, in the same equation, you can see the H2O plus CO2, H2CO3, H plus plus HCO3 minus. Here what happened? Because the bicarbonate is lost in the form of diarrhea. Also, because chloride is selectively reabsorbed in the proximal convertible, there also bicarb loss. Causing this whole equation shift in a rightward direction, producing more H plus ion and producing acidosis. It's called metabolic acidosis. So, this is bicarbonate loss. External cause, this was chloride gain, extra renal cause. There is another method to quickly diagnose that is called standard ion difference. That is sodium minus chloride. This is normally around 34. So, whenever the standard ion difference is less than 34, that suggests chloride has increased. So, this translates into acidosis. Hyperchloremic, normal NN gap metabolic acidosis. Standard ion difference is more than 34. That suggests we have a metabolic alkalosis. So, in a particular case, you can see sodium is 142, chloride is 120. So, what is the standard ion difference is equal to 142 minus 120? That is becoming around 22, which is less than 34. So, patient is having normal NN gap metabolic acidosis. 
and the reason and mechanism we have discussed here. So, in our discussion today, we have discussed when we give normal saline to patient in massive amount, why there is a cirrhosis, normal and ungave cirrhosis. In the same way, when there is a diarrhea patient, there is bicarbonate loss, why there is a metabolic acidosis and how quickly you can diagnose the metabolic acidosis by using the standard ion difference. Thank you very much.